Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the BIOS or basic input output pin configuration. And I'm going also to show you how to download the schematic of any BIOS as you want. Okay, and of course, I'm going to show you a real BIOSes in a real motherboard. So let's, for example, take this reference we have here 25Q16BVSIG. So we're gonna use this reference to download its schematic. So let's go to Google and just type the reference here. So 25Q16BVSIG. Okay, as you can see, and press enter. So we get the result, as you can see, we have the same reference, as you can see. Okay, so let's pick this first results. Okay, so here we go, as you can see, we have the same reference, 25Q16BV8IG, we have here 16 megabit serial flash memory. So this is the right schematic. Okay that we want to download okay so let's go just here as you can see we have download so just click this link and we will download the pda file as you can see we get now the pda file as you can see we have 25 as you can see so this is a 16 megabit serial flash memory as you can see so here, as you can see, this is the table of continents, as you can see, where you can look for anything you want to read about the BIOS chip, including the pin configuration, the characteristics, etc. Okay, as you can see, so this is the table of continents. Okay. Here, as you can see, we have the features. Okay, here we have the features as you can see we have the same bios with 16 megabit or 2 megabyte okay so this is a 2 megabyte bios chip so pay attention always you should replace if you want to replace any bios in the motherboard you should replace it with another bios with the same reference or with an interchangeable with the same capacity okay so here as you can see this is the pin number one, pin number two. Okay, we have the data output, as you can see, and the pin number two. Okay, data output. Okay, here in the pin number three, we have write products. Okay, this is the ground in pin number four. So, always the pin number four for, for every HPM BIOS is connected to the ground. Okay, so remember, always pin number four connected to the ground. Here we have pin number five. This is data input. Okay, so data output in pin number two and data input into pin number five. We have the clock here for synchronization in the pin number six. And here, of course, we have the halt. Okay, so this is for input output and VCC. Okay, for the power for the BIOS in the pin number eight. Always, always the pin number eight for every HPM BIOS is for the power. Okay, so if you want to check the VCC for a BIOS, check it in the pin number eight. Okay, so the, basically the power for the BIOS is 3.3 volts. Okay, you should get 3.3 volts in the pin number eight. So here, as you can see, this is, so here, as you can see, this is the pin description, as you can see. Here we have the table with description and we have the diagram for the BIOS as you can see. So for each pin we have its function. Okay, for example, for pin number six we have serial clock input. Pin number seven we have the hold and pin number eight we have the power supply and so on. Okay. I'm going to show you basics on how to read a laptop schematic. Okay, so as you can see here, this is basically a table of continents, okay, of a laptop. So if you understand just how to read the table of continent, you can read any laptop motherboard. As you can see, basically here we have pages and description, 
okay so here for example we have in the page number five we have the dc battery changer we have page number six select battery connector system power and so on here as you can see this is the ddr2 here we have the lcd connector the ich okay and here we have the super io as you can see here and here we have the spi or the bios basic in the page 38 basically the spi or the bios is always near to the ich so this is basically the schematic of the spi or the serial peripheral interface for the bios here this is a bios with eight pin basically okay so always the pin number four is connected to the ground as you can see this is the reference for this bios sst 25 lf 080 as you can see so here of course this is the pin names pin number one pin number two pin number three for right protect pin number four connected to the ground vdd hold s clock and pin number five for the input okay so here basically this is a real motherboard where i'm going to show you a real bios chip as you can see here this is the pin number one here we have this white dot means pin number one two three four okay connected to the ground okay and pin number five six seven and eight so eight is connected to the power rail okay